Hey, what's up, guys? We're just here at the shop right now, office. We notice our thing is ajar a little bit. Looks like somebody pried it. And guess what? When we walked in today, all this stuff has been moved. That fan was on. Those aren't our clothes. We didn't leave the furniture like this. There was some dude sleeping on a couch right there. And I walked in. I was like, dude, you supposed to be here? He's like, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Uh, uh, is, uh, my friend let me in. I'm like, dude, I was here till 10 o'clock last night. He's like, oh yeah, my dude let me in, uh, at like three o'clock. I'm like, yeah, your dude ain't supposed to be here either. So, uh, I called the police. Police came. Of course, this dude left before the police came. But he said, this is crazy, man. It's not my football. I don't know where that came from. Like I said, none of this stuff, that rack wasn't there. That fan wasn't there. None of this stuff is where it was when I left. Uh, I had these like movies sitting in this corner because they're just movies I need to find the DVDs for. There's no movies in them. So he obviously went through those and was trying to, you know, see if there was any movies in them and found out there wasn't. Luckily, I was standing about right here when he was on that couch uh, because he couldn't get to his weapon. I didn't notice there was a knife over there on that refrigerator and those are the bags the empty movies were in. So he couldn't get to his knife or I may have been attacked. Like I said, I'm a big dude. I'm not afraid of anybody. So it didn't really scare me that it was he was in here. Like I said, I just told him he couldn't be here. Luckily, he took a while and I took a picture of him as he was leaving and uh, the police said, oh yeah, that's, I can't remember his name. I'm going to call him Judge Judy because it was something like that. So uh, he said, yeah, that's Judge Judy. Uh, he just got arrested yesterday. So I guess old Judge Judy's getting arrested again today because I showed a picture of him. He said, yep, that's him. Some of this stuff is mine. Some of it isn't mine. We got some Axe body spray, which isn't mine. Uh, not sure what's in that bag right there. Don't know if I want to know. Like this table... I'm not sure if there's scissors are mine. I've never seen them before. But this table used to be sitting over there in the corner, and the, the couch was over in the corner, and that was over, everything was over there in that corner. Uh, but like I said, it's kind of spooky when you come in. You see everything that you have completely, like, moved. And then, like I said, you see some dude. He was under, like, a bunch of covers, so I didn't even see the dude at first. And then he, he jumped up kind of startled because he was sleeping when I walked in. And then I was like, yo brother you supposed to be here oh yeah yeah my dude let me in i'm like yeah your dude isn't supposed to be letting you in so he said the police just left we did a walk through we hit off four floors we went in the basement in the attic so we're hoping there isn't any more people in we tried to figure out how he got in and we saw that pry bar and the mark you know so he probably pried his way in with a knife right there it's a pretty heavy duty knife it's not very big but it's really thick so i'd say that's what he did so I'll discard that knife somehow so he won't be able to break any more houses with it. But literally, this is my office. And that's, he grabbed a bunch of stuff from over here. But luckily he didn't penetrate because this was locked. I unlocked it just now to make sure it was okay. But uh, it was okay. He could have had a heyday in there. Because between that and my other office, you know, there's probably $200,000 worth of inventory in there. So... You know, on the street, that would have been about 200 bucks, but uh, yeah, he didn't get that. So, all right, guys, I just thought this was a crazy story. You thought you guys would want to hear this? Uh, like I said, it was, it was just something you don't see every day. But I got a bunch of work to do, get this back to order. Have a good one, guys. Till next time, peace.